Welcome back. We're going to be in Psalm 33 tonight. If you want to grab your Bibles and follow along, we'll be in the 33rd Psalm. And we're going to read this out loud. It's a psalm of praise to the Creator and Preserver, Lord Jehovah. Psalm 33 in verse 1. Sing for joy in the Lord, O you righteous ones. Praise is becoming to the upright. Give thanks to the Lord with the lyre. Sing praises to him with a harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and by the breath of his mouth all their host. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He, lay, he lays up the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord nullifies the counsel of the nations. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart from generation to generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven and sees all the sons of men. From his dwelling place he looks out on all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all, he who understands all their works. The king is not saved by a mighty army, a warrior is not delivered by a great strength. A horse is a false hope for victory, nor does it deliver anyone by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on, who's, on those who fear him, on those who hope for his loving kindness, to deliver their soul from death, and keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart rejoices in him, because we trust his holy name. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, according, to, according as we have hoped in you. In this psalm, it's mainly a song of praise. Of the psalmist extolling the great virtues of God being the creator of all that there is. And not only being the great creator, uh, he who spoke the world into existence and by the breath, his breath made the, the host of heaven. He is also the preserver of those who are upright and righteous. It says, blessed are those whose God is the Lord, who's the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. And while this psalm originally applied to the nation of Israel, we can extrapolate the principle from this today, that blessed are the people of God today, the true, you know, the true Israel that Paul speaks about, who has been redeemed by his son, and they have made God their God. They are blessed. And it says that he is the one, Jehovah, who looks from heaven upon the people, and all, upon all the sons of, of, of the earth. And it's him who fashions their hearts. He knew them before they were made. And it is he who has ultimate sovereignty and control and power. For he says, "Who The king is not saved by his mighty army, the warrior not by his strength, and the horses do not deliver a nation. The Lord smites them all and can turn them all on their heads as he wills. And he says in verse 18, and maybe this is the this is the point that we want to think on as we go into this week. The eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who hope for his loving kindness, to those who hope on him to deliver their soul from death, who trust in him to keep them from alive in famine. It says our soul, and we can say our soul, waits for the Lord. Our God is our help and our shield. He, his heart rejoices in the righteous because we trust in his holy name. And the psalm ends with the request made of God. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us according to as we have hoped in you. And this hope here is not a wishy-washy hope like we use it today. It is sure it is steadfast in the way the Bible uses it. And really, in this psalm, this word hope in 22 has the meaning of as we have waited. You know, according to as we have waited in you or waited on you. That we are patient and we trust in God's timing. Let us think on this this week that we serve the great God of heaven, the God of the creator God, the God who does deliver and take care of his people. As always, have a great week and God bless.